and another guy named Bruce Wallace, which I think is one of the best writers of all time, and he's just a blast. And, um, so I put this song on the record, and if you look at the record, there's a few songs on there you're probably going to recognize. One is called Country Strong. Might have heard of that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, we put it on there a year before the whole movie came out for a reason, and that was for the troops and all the military families that we do shows, and they are not there. And so what we did that song for was we took a lot of video and gave shouts out to all the troops and put a video together for them. So it's a running joke now with some of my good friends. One was actually a DJ over in Iraq, and he said, Candy, he goes, why, why are you just now putting out this, you know, here, like the new song? He's like, because this whole record's been number one over in, you know, Iraq way before all this. So Country Strong was over there way before the movie came out, and they were all really upset when it came out because they didn't understand why, you know, why somebody else doing the song. Right. <laughs> uh, so that song's on there, and another song that I'm, we're going to do for you um, is called Ain't No Rodeo. And so this writer I was telling you about, I love his stuff, and I put it on the record. And so since then, it has been released, uh, I think, at least once, and it's been also on a NASCAR commercial. So you might have heard it maybe, but... Um, and probably you're, coming up, I you're believe. You're on the right path, I'm telling hey, you. Hey, I picked great uh, songs. You're, just, you're, you know what? It's just, happen soon I for need you. to. <laughs> but, um, but Montgomery Gentry's putting it on their record coming up. So. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So we wish the best for all people like Bruce and all those good writers, but uh, we usually write most of our songs, so mm -hmm. I'll just do this one for you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, this is I like this better definitely in the conference mm -hmm. room, so that's good. Yeah. Um, so I know has everybody heard the new single or I don't think I have obviously. Okay. I don't think it even all right now. Okay. Well, um, as we were talking about, we don't really do slow songs, hardly ever. I like to rock and roll. Weird. And um, and I don't like really listening to them on the radio. You know, I just always like to be more up to <laughs> Hey, I'm with you. But um, this song was written three years ago. Josh and I and a good friend were down in, if you've ever heard of this, Texarkana. Mm -hmm. It's between Texas and Arkansas. So you finish the show and everybody's, you know, going home and staggering home and we're just finally sitting down maybe for our first beer and uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, good stuff, good eats. And um, so we started writing the song and put it together pretty fast. And the very next day, we actually had a radio show to do at noon. And so, literally, I was there with, like, a napkin, playing it live, you know, whatever. And so, right away, people started talking about the song and really loved it. And it meant a lot to them. And um, so, we played it live in the show. And everybody keeps coming up, like, this is the song we want to have out. Why is it not on record yet? So, we put it on the record. And it's on that record right there in a fully produced, you know, super slick, all the bells and whistle way. It's a great version, but the fans were real disappointed when they got it because it was not like we play it live, mm. which is more broken down, acoustic, kind of how it was written. So we went back and first did a little video, which you might have seen on YouTube or whatever, and that was pretty much just old school, putting a mic in the middle and just going for it. So they loved that, but when it came down to finally release the song nationally, the first national release we've had, because we had lots of things down in Texas and things like that, but not over the whole country. Um, we just finally listened. Yeah, it's I'm a little slow. Three years. But um, this song kept coming to the front every time. So we went back in and completely recut the song like we do it live, acoustic. And that's the version. It's going to be, it's, if you look at it, it's Don't Walk Away radio version. And we did that for a reason, because of the fans. So we hope people dig it. And it's been like jumping off a cliff for me, the non-ballad liker, to think that I have to sell a rock ticket show. Um, that's what we do, but to put out a ballad has been a little wild. So, so far the response has been really good. We hope y'all like it. But um, this is one of the three ballads you will ever hear in my 90 minute show. It's called Don't Walk Away. Yeah. 